Welcome to Snow Motion. I'm Brenda Buglione, coming to you from the slopes of beautiful Beaver Creek, Colorado. In today's show, we ride the chairlift with Dr. Randy Viola, one of the head team physicians for the U.S. ski team. And then, my newest ski tip will help you conquer the steeps. And then, we're not just going to go skiing, but we're going to go fishing too, in Warren Miller's movie, Chasing Shadows. Finally, we're going to take one wild ride with Candy Tobex. You're watching Snow Motion. Would it be easier if we had no shoes, no time to kill, and nothing to lose, and no worries but the great blue sky? And looking for shade when the sun gets high, we're climbing up that coconut tree. If it's time for one of nature's treats, would it be easy? Remember what it's like to forget everything but the moment. We discover the birthplace of all. We discover Bayon like nothing on earth. The best in the world. All it takes are a few perfect runs. This is what gold medals are made of. These are our podiums to protect. This is what we live for. Best in the world. Snow Motion is brought to you by Vail, like nothing on earth. And by the Stedman Clinic, keeping people active. Dr. Randy Viola is an orthopedic hand, wrist, and elbow specialist with the Stedman Clinic in Vail, Colorado. A consultant with the U.S. Ski Team, Randy is changing the game for everyone, whether you're an Olympic athlete or a weekend warrior. Today's chairlift interview is with Dr. Randy Viola. Randy is an orthopedic surgeon with the Stedman Clinic, specializing in hand, wrist, and elbows. He's also the head team physician for the U.S. Men's Alpine Team. He consults for the Denver Broncos, the U.S. Olympic Committee, the U.S. Snowboard Team. You do a lot. It's busy. It's busy. What brought you to the Vail Valley? So I grew up skiing, grew up ski racing back in the East Coast, skiing college and always wanted to end up in a mountain town in the west so you know Vail seemed like a good spot. Dr. Stedman was here, he had a clinic with a great reputation and um, they didn't have a hand, wrist and elbow surgeon so I thought it'd be a good fit. You were it. Somebody had to do it. Stedman Clinic is recruiting the best in the world to we come like to here so. to Vail. Yeah. So are there a lot of skiing and snowboard injuries? Well, I think one of the reasons I have a job in the mountains is because of snowboarding. <laughs> okay. And we see an enormous number of fractured wrists with snowboarding. In skiers, not as many upper extremity injuries, but we see skiers' thumb and uh, we do see broken wrists as well. So ski racers tend to drag their hands a lot. You know, Ligety, Ted Ligety brought that into style because he's, right. he's on his hand on every turn and really creates just amazing angles. But he also drags his hand and he also punches gates. And so ski racers tend to punch gates, they dislocate thumbs, they, they break metacarpal bones. And so the way we treat those is simply go in and put in titanium plates and screw it back together. And that allows them to get out skiing within a few days. I'm the doc that tells you you can ski. I'm not the doc that tells you you can't ski. So we do our best at keeping people active. Um, you know, whether you're a weekend warrior or whether you're a you know, World Cup skier, you know, we're not going to be reckless, but at the same time, if we can safely get you back on the hill, maintain your fitness or competing in your sport, we're going to let you go. Oh, I like that. Randy's the yes guy. I'm the yes guy. <laughs> you're the yes guy. I mean, every athlete needs, you know, would want you as their doctor because, well, it's just, you it's, know. It's not, it's not just unique to me. It's, yeah. it's the, the approach that Dr. Stedman took during his career, and I think all the other guys in our clinic have adopted the same approach. You know, we're about keeping people active. You know, we're not the, the docs who are going to tell you to go home and you know, s sit on the couch for three months and heal up. Where the docs say, well, whether it's your knee or your wrist, you've got three other good limbs, 
you know, do some sit-ups, work out the other limb, you can spin on one leg, you can maintain your fitness and maintain your activity level in, in, in spite of your injury. Okay, now tell me about the Stedman Clinic and all the new changes and the new office. It's beautiful. So, so we have a new facility. There's a new fourth floor in Vail Hospital. We've been scattered all over the valley for years. I've had five offices in 17 years, and so now we're all under the same roof. Phil Pond, Hackett, Preventure, all the guys are right there, and it, it creates a much better working environment for us. It allows us to collaborate with our colleagues much better. You know, there are a lot of people that come to see us with multiple injuries, and so it allows us to coordinate care a little bit. It's got all the bells and whistles and all the fancy equipment that we need to, t to uh, provide world-class care. Which is, I know, the goal is to be the best in the world because you are goal. getting these Olympic athletes to your clinic. We see people from all over the world, yeah. And they come for knee injuries, wrist injuries, hip injuries, spine injuries. I, I think a lot of it has to do with the Stedman Philippon Research Institute. You know, the, our, recent, our research institute does as much orthopedic research and we publish as much as any uh, academic institution in the United States, whether it's Harvard, Washington University, Seattle, the, the Stanford. So when, actually when I was on the US ski team, Dr. Stedman did six surgeries on my left, two on my right. Every surgery he had something new to make it better, you know, the bone on bone and and um, I'm skiing like crazy, you know, today, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, he he uh, had a great mind in my, in my orthopedic training, for example, um, things are very regimented. If you had problem A, you got solution A. And not many people know this, but I did a year, I spent a year with Dr. Stem in doing knee, doing uh -huh. knee surgery before I became a hand and wrist expert and did, did my fellowship in hand. And, um, and what amazed me when I met him was his, his thoughtful way of taking care of things. He looked at every situation differently. Nothing was a black box, nothing was protocoled. He would think about every patient, every, uh, you know, anatomic problem and come up with solutions that were innovative and it really worked and he really wanted to know who his patients were and that's why he spent so much time with patients. He wanted to know if they ski, do you, you know, do you water ski, do you snow ski, you know, do you cycle, do you run, what, what, are, your, what are your goals and ambitions and he wants to tailor your treatment to allow you to get where you wanted to be. You've learned so much from him, and the whole Stedman Clinic, I know, has that same philosophy. Yeah, we all we all share the same a philosophy of innovation, research, and providing best surgical care that we can to people. Now, tell me about some of the exciting uh, athletes you've worked on and their way back to the top of the podium. Um, football players, basketball players, skiers, snowboarders, the list kind of goes on. It's, it's almost fun watching last Olympics. I could see all my patients on the podium. Um, Connor Fields was a BMX rider. He was uh, favored to win a gold in the last Olympics. He didn't execute and didn't get a gold. Um, I think it was about 13, 12 or 13 weeks before the Rio Olympics. He had a horrible scaphoid fracture and saw a few docs in California, um, and everybody said, no, you're done, don't even try. Um, he came to see me and just said, look, I, ha I have to, Go I have to, I have to okay. win in Rio. And um, so we did some fairly unusual, fairly aggressive surgery on him, and, and uh, he did go on and win a gold medal. And you know, it was, it, was, it was pretty exciting, because I just, I was operating one day, and uh, my phone rang with kind of a weird number, and it was his dad, just and you could. He just, and so he said, you know, he said, Connor, you know, Connor won a goal. Makes he just came, cry. just came across the line, and you know, it was pretty exciting. It's pretty, it's pretty rewarding when you can do that for someone. I love that story. And it was, um, the surgery is a little aggressive for sure, but a lot of heart. I think he was, uh, he was functioning more on titanium than he was on healed bone. But you know what? It worked, and he had a great outcome. And so he's, I've stayed in touch with him. We've become friends, and, and so it's it's very rewarding when you can when you can uh, make a difference for somebody like that, and do things that other people might not have considered. Very rewarding! Wow, fun. what a fun job! I've got the has. best job in the world. I think you do. Thanks, Randy. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Coming soon to Beaver Creek Resort is a new high-speed quad lift. It's called Red Buffalo Express Lift Number 5. It's going to get you to the top of the mountain faster. 
Now don't go away because coming up next, I'm going to give you a few ski tips that will help you control your speed on steeper terrain. Movement is life. It is the joyous wiggles of a newborn child, the grace of dance, a quiet stroll in the twilight of our years. Movement is freedom, exhilaration, independence. Movement is progress, relentlessly seeking solutions. At the Stedman Clinic and the Stedman Philippon Research Institute, movement means science finding cures and medicine enhancing lives. At Spry, it is science unsatisfied with the status quo, science discovering life-changing answers. At the Stedman Clinic, it is unsurpassed orthopedic care for the world's greatest athletes and everyone. Movement is our mission. This winter, experience the sophisticated allure of Beaver Creek's intimate Alpine Village, where you're free to focus on nothing other than creating incredible moments together. Revel in the special touches that set Beaver Creek apart from all other resorts. Experience the refined side of winter. For more snow motion action, chairlift interviews, and my ski tips, visit my website at snow-motion.com. If you want to control your speed on a very steep slope, here's three things that will help you. The first thing is that you have to stay in that angulated position with your ankle, knee, hip into the hill and your upper body facing down the hill. In this position, I can do anything because my power is over my downhill ski. If I am afraid of the steeps and I shy away from them, I just slide. I need to be facing down the hill in my turns so my skis will edge and hold. The second thing is to make your turns round. Come across the hill. Don't try to take a straight line because you're going to start going so fast. So you want to cut across on each turn. The third thing is the importance of your pole plant. After you turn and you're in that angulated position, you want to plant the pole, come up and forward, and make another strong turn on the other downhill ski edge. So you can see on the steep pitch how I'm angulated, keeping my chest down the hill, having a solid pole plant, and cutting back and forth to slow myself down. Now you'll be able to ski any black diamond in control. Warren Miller Entertainment always seems to be able to find the most remote locations to shoot their ski films. This segment in Chasing Shadows appeals to both anglers and skiers alike. Let's take a peek at their stop in the beautiful backcountry of Alaska. If you dropped everything and headed to Valdez, Alaska, people might think you wanted to be a big fish in a little pond. But that's because they haven't seen the ponds up here. And they definitely haven't seen the fish. Come to Alaska with Mark Abba, pass that up, you'd be crazy. He could pretty much call anyone in the world and they'd drop whatever they were doing. I've been skiing with Rory since back in the day when we were bumpers. Bumping our way down and doing twister twister spreads. Dean Cummins has been here for 23 years and seeing his passion makes you realize all that this area has to offer. Coming to Valdez in 91, I never thought I would leave New Mexico, but when I got to Alaska, it was just like, wow, this place wins. Being the place that opened up big mountain skiing to the world, kind of sets the trend for other sports. Having a guy like Dean cruising us around, it's pretty fail safe. In the middle of nowhere, but he knows every single peak, all the different runs that are coming down, all the different river valleys and fishing holes. 
We get so much snow in the Chugach Range, anywhere from 80 to 100 feet of snow a year. This is August. What? You didn't think Roy Bushfield and Mark Abma just came here to fish, did you? Country, summer corn snow is called hero snow because you can get away with just about anything on it. But this is still Alaska, and it's not a place you want to press your luck. It's completely different in the summer compared to the winters. In the winter, we ski over crevasses all the time, and we don't even know they're there. But when you can see that they're there, it's a little scary. Up there with Dean and Abma, feel safe in the mountains with those two. And it was. Such a freeing experience. Nobody's telling you where to turn or how to turn. That feeling of freedom is pretty special these days. It's the lifestyle and the freedoms that made me commit to living here, harvest your own food. They're Alaskans. They're never going anywhere else. What the locals do here on an average day, I love that it. it makes you more responsible as a human, that you're not just going down these highways and expecting that the signs are all there and that the guardrails are all there and all these things to keep you safe. Being on the edge is being alive. And right here in Alaska, you got that right at your fingertips. People should get out and, and try to feel that. I've been to Alaska quite often in the wintertime and coming out to Valdez during the summertime, I definitely gained a whole new appreciation for the planet that we live on. You just pinch yourself. Next thing you know, you have something to challenge you and to keep your senses really alive. It's not easy settling into, into this kind of environment, but these people really found a passion for being in and amongst all this nature here, and I think that's a really bold move that the people took to, to make it out here. It's not the size of the fish, it's the motion in the ocean. You know it, bro. <laughs> Stick around. When we return, Candy Tovex shows us why he is one of the most creative minds in skiing. What we've done at Surefoot is really change the way that you get ski boots. The sun shines bright. This boot is made for your foot. As the difference is amazing. You'll the ski light. better. They're better fitting, better skiing than anything you've ever experienced. I woke up feeling great. Today was made for me. And life is good the way it should the way. Oh, 
smell. Toast life. Snow Motion is brought to you by Surefoot. Better fitting, better skiing. And by Bogner, the luxury of sport. Welcome back to Snow Motion. Candide Tobax is known for his creative lines, but he also produces his own films from the script to the final edit. Madame, Monsieur, bonjour. Pour commencer ce journal, ce déploiement impressionnant de forces de l'ordre dans les Alpes, une véritable chasse à l'homme est en cours depuis 24 heures pour tenter d'interpeller le skieur français Candide Tovex. Il fait l'objet d'un mandat d'arrêt pour une série de comportements dangereux observés sur les pistes. Le français Candide Tovex régulièrement éclate. Ah Launches onto the gondola, cutting the line and leaving those waiting on the other side of the closing door.
Thanks for watching this episode of Snow Motion. Tune in to us next week when we take a look at the best of the best of the year. I'm Brenda Baglione and we'll see you on the slopes. No shoes, no time to kill, and nothing to lose, and no worries but the great blue sky. I'm looking for shade when the sun gets high. I'm climbing up that coconut tree. If it's time for one of nature's treats, would it be easy?